Hey puppy friends, how are you? I have a parcel here from my one of my puppet makers, uh puppets from Australia. Uh I can't wait to open it. I only got one box. I ordered two puppets. I don't see how two puppets can fit in this box. It's pretty small. So let's open it and find out. I can't wait. I was worried that they're here. Oh. Why is there two, two bags on it? This worries me. There's two shipping bags. Okay, well, let's open the first one. Oh, nope, it's just one bag. All right. Oh, it's hard to open. My knife is in the other room that I usually open parts with, so I'll have to just use this one. This looks like Marvin. I have a surprise coming, hopefully tomorrow. It left Regina this afternoon, well this morning, to go to the next stop before it comes here. The next sorting faculty. So what happens when you live in the country. It takes sometimes it takes a while for you to get your mail. Oh, there is two, two boxes. Okay. Well, they're a lot smaller for sure than what I'm used to. They're definitely a lot smaller. Okay, well we have, we either have Marvin or the little monster in this box, or we have Marvin and the little monster in this box, so we'll see. I can't wait. Okay, which one should we open first? Let's get started, pick. Which one? Point. Touch. Which one? Touch. That one? Okay. Star says this one. Back up. Back up, please. All right, so we're gonna open this one first. I don't wanna go too deep, because I don't know. I don't know how they're such small boxes, I don't want to hurt them. Now, I don't have voices for them yet. Now, this is from Puppets. P-U-B-B-E-T-S. For all you puppet collectors. Oh, my poor, my poor monsters. My poor, my poor Okay, it comes with an arm rod. Comes with an arm rod, uh, a dust bag. Which one are you? Hello, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. My little travel buddy, news buddy. I think Marvin might be my new my new news person. I think he might do the news and the weather. And I think my little hand puppet from... We'll see. Maybe they can both do it. He's very squished, guys. I mean squished. It's going to take a while for him to get his... His form back, I think. I'm going to work on him. But this is Marvin. He's a full body puppet. I'll be able to change his top, but I'm not going to be able to change his pants. His jacket, I mean. I think everything else is pretty much on there. I, if I get a bigger top, maybe I can cover it up with, without taking him apart. Um, the shoes, everything. I can't change his shoes out. Um, 
he is what he is, it looks like. I won't be able to dress him the way I want to in different clothes, but I may be able to give him a different top now and then, you know. But this is Marvin, and he's from puppets.com. P-U-B-B-E-T-S. He's pretty cute. Yeah, he's pretty cute. I think he's gonna do the I think he's gonna do the news and the weather and gossip. I think he's gonna be pretty good. Little travel buddy. Hmm. I'm taking a look around here. Yeah, this is so this is Marvin. So the other one is my monster puppet. We got some extra stickers here in the ears for his eyes. Oh, these are painted on. These are not stickers. So, and he's got glasses that are sewn on so they don't come off as well. So, Marvin is who he is, is Marvin. So, my little blue guy. I don't have a boy puppet human like figure in my in my in my collection so he'll do just fine I think so we won't give him a voice yet because I don't know what his voice is gonna sound like I'm pretty good with southern southern um twall or twang so he may be a southern but well not sure but maybe like a Walter Concrete the accent if I can get it I have to work on the voice okay let's so let's work on let's work on my little monster puppet there's not much stuffing in him not like the other like not like my girls so he's they're definitely different than the bigger but than the bigger kits for sure so this is my monster And I'll save the boxes. Oh, and he comes in a blue bag. And I am getting a I am getting a different bag for him. That's one them in coming through the mail as a gift from the um, maker of these. He, he he sent me a nice gift, a very nice nice gift. He also comes with his own arm rod, which is nice because I really could use some more arm rods. I take a risk every time I take an arm rod off and put it on and take put it on, take it off, damaging the puppets. So it's nice to have them permanently attached. At least one anyways. So this is the monster puppet. Oh, he's cute. And he and I'll keep the blue dust bag, obviously. Oh, he's all squished too. But he's got a rainbow outfit. Same same thing, same idea. I'm just gonna have to um I'm gonna have to um just find clothes that'll go over top, I think. For these puppets, if I want to change the clothes out. Uh, they're all sewn on they're sewn on. Um, the overalls are not able to come off at all, so I'm probably just, like I said, I'm just probably going to have to be able to change the tops. That's put a different top on over top of everything if I want to change everything. But this is the monster puppet, and what is this? It's Grumple, Grumpled? Grumple Snoot. That's his name, Grumple Snoot. No, he's a perfect size for kids uh, and up close puppetry. Nice for camera work because, you know, he fits in the camera just nice. He fits in the camera nice, which is nice. He's very cute. Now, he's a shy little puppet. Yes, he is. He is not a mean grumple snoot. No, he's not. He, he's more like a very shy, 
Yeah, he's very shy. I figured he's going to be a very, very shy puppet. And he's going to love this going outside and doing different things. Maybe some crafting. Maybe some reading some stories. That kind of thing. Yeah, I think we're going to do that with him. Um, he's a very friendly, he's very friendly, an easygoing puppet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's my little guy. Yeah, he's also going to be a boy. Yeah, he's going to be a boy puppet. And he's going to like playing with tracks and cards and Legos and stuff like that. I think that's what we're going to use him for. And environmentally, maybe we'll use him for, I'm just thinking some ideas to use for, use for him as well. Yeah, so, and he also comes with painted eyes. They're not glued on. There's some fat, there's some extra ones here. I love his eyelashes. He's very expressive. Yeah, he's very expressive. Yeah. I like that. He has no shoes. So we might we might find some shoes for him. Since if he, if he goes outside, he's going to definitely need some shoes. And a coat. We'll find him a coat. He's a smaller puppet, so he's basically going to be taking, like, you know, six-month baby clothes. To wear tops to wear i think um if we do find pants for him uh i don't think that'll work the way he's made um his legs don't come apart so and he doesn't have a waist his back comes out so he is what he is as well so but we'll figure it out if you get some new nice new clothes for him but he's very cute what do you guys think do you like Grumple Snoot. Hmm? You like Grumple Snoot? No, he doesn't have a voice as he doesn't have a voice as well. Because I'm a girl and it's hard for me to put a low pitched voice down on him. So but we're gonna we're gonna try. But like I said, he's gonna be my very shy my shy little boy. Yeah, he's gonna be a shy little boy, I think. Um He's not going to be outgoing as the rest of the puppets, I don't think. Um, but we'll work it out, you know. I'm going to I'm going to practice some voices, um get some inspiration from some of my puppeteers, my professional puppeteers out there. And watch some old muppet movies that I I bought in for inspiration for my puppetry. He's very cute, but I definitely would like to save up to get um, the size of Josie. I like this. I love the size of Josie. That's what I want. But in Canadian money, some of them are like four hundred dollars in Canadian money right now, and that's just a lot of money. But these guys were my budget right now, and they're very cute. I'm happy I got them. Yeah, it's just going to need a little bit of work to get them unstuffed. Hmm? Are you happy to be here? Happy to be out of the box. Yeah, I am too. I'm happy you made it. I was, I was scared that I was going to lose you. You know that, right? Yeah, you were, you were lost in the mail. For three days, you were lost. I'm so glad I found you. Yes, I am. Hmm? I was scared I was going to have to put out a search party for you. Yeah, I was. I was scared. So anyways, guys, take care and thanks for watching. Can you say goodbye? We have to find you a new, new name. Yeah. I don't want to name you Grumple Snoot. No, I don't. I want to have, I want to give you a nice name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye.